Alright, so welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be doing uh, an Illustrator tutorial. Um, today we're going to do something that involves the pen tool, uses some warp tools, and uses some typography on this uh, this setup. So today I'm going to make a, a, a 3D looking book with the text that wraps around it. Now that, that might seem a little bit on the simple side, but we're not doing anything flat and then warping it down. We're going to do make the book look like it has the nice curved pages of a book that's split wide open, and then the text wraps around the pages. So it's a very simple process. Um, so let's get into it and see how we can work on it, work on it. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, so I'm going to use a lot of layers. So we're going to drag our layers out here so you guys can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to create one layer and we're going to drag this down here. We're just going to call this one the sketch. Because this lets us know what we're going to do, how far we're going to take it down. It's not going to be too far down either or on, the, on the line of um, the processes. And then we're just going to use this one. We're, we're only going to use two layers today. I lied. So today we're going to work with um, this one just being the actual drawing. Um, like everything else, lock down the layer you're not going to be using. Layers are, are, are fun and essential. They're sort of like having like uh, separate uh, Photoshop layers but each one is a folder full of that artwork so it's nice it's it's, it's a little bit different in, in, in illustrator all right so with this i'm not really too worried about uh, what the sketch looks like too much so we're not going to use any sort of custom brushes as i sketch this guy out here so what i want to do is we're going to have one nice clean line there we go Use blue so we can see a little bit later on. Use one nice clean line. This is going to be the basis of, of what we're going to be working with, and we'll clean it up with some with the actual pen tool. Um, I'm going to have this book come down on either side, and then the page is going to sit and come right around like that. So already you can see how this this book is going to want to look like it's sort of starting to unfurl and. I'm going to have one page look like it's curling up, and then we're going to have another one just sitting there ready. Just like that. And this one's going to come around just like that, right up into that, into that edge. We'll figure that out in just a second. And then, of course, we need to have the actual cover that's going to come back just like that with the little binding something like that we're not going to go too far into this because we're going to we're going to be drawing this out in just a second so this is my sketch this is just the basis of what we're going to go with so we unlock our drawing, our, our layer. We're gonna pull out the pen tool. And for this, we're just gonna use a nice pen tool action going on. Oh yeah, we're gonna go right about there. And of course, then we come through, and you just clean up your edges a little bit. We're not we're not going for too perfect right now because we can tweak out some things. I'm gonna make me make this a little bit more. Grab that right there. Come up right here. Maybe make that a little bit softer. Yeah. Make that to match. All 
All right. And then just in case that's visible, we're going to do that. Because we can tweak this out just a bit. Yeah, I like that. Getting to see some of that, that page action there. Now, going from here, it's going to go right down about there. right there all right now we have the basis of our, our page so far all I've used so far is the pen tool and we're just making a rough image we can tweak all this out you can you can add more layers in you can you can change out all the colors but we're just gonna group this for a moment control C control V Edit, transform, reflect. Somehow went to rotate. And we just reflect it back on one side here. All right. I like a lot of things this right now is pretty rough um, I would probably go through and if I'm gonna add some more time I would probably go through and make this a little bit more detailed this would be I don't think I've ever seen a book with hard edges on these covers so I'd probably round these guys out this right here is CS fours when they added in the corner rounding uh, no, sorry creative cloud 2013 I think is when they added in that one right there so if you have anything like CS6 CS4 stuff like that there won't be quarter rounding you have to manually do that um, but you know if I needed to I could easily add in the edge of the book So the more time you add into the actual drawing time, the more obviously that this can really start to stand out. So we're not going to, but we're not spending too much time on the actual drawing part. We all know how to draw on this stage right here. And specifically when we can take this and we need to make a, a few tweaks to make this page look like it's going to sit on that, that book cover. All right, but we're going to group this guy out real quick. So we have this, this image right here, um, and it's now set for the text. Formatting text onto a page is sometimes a daunting task when you're trying to ma make it match it all up here, but there's a simple, couple simple steps we can do. So I'm just gonna use a stencil font because that's what the one that comes with the system and we'll use this for the example because it's a nice clean one. For sake of argument, I'm just going to go to expand and make this into an object so we don't have to worry about any sort of editing issues and I can just easily scale up versus having to deal with a lot of like simplistic stuff. Now if you notice this is going to be, we can't just like shrink it down and make it look like it fits on there because now we've had some custom drawing steps and things like that and some curves. And we can't draw on a path because the paths don't match top to bottom. So what we need to do is use a very simple process. It's called, it's going to the object, envelope distort, and we're gonna make it with a mesh. Now this has, it basically distorts everything into, into grids. Um, so you have rows and columns that you would need to do. If I leave it as a four by four, you notice it leaves 16 spots so I can manipulate very easily every single section and warp it into that. 
which is fantastic for when I'm trying to wrap around like uh, a text around like a custom shape, um, like a ball or, you know, into the feathers of a bird or something like that. But what we need to do is go a little bit more simplistic than that. When we go to the mesh, we just need to have a one by one. And it's not, not anything crazy. You can even preview it and see that there's only the corners where the warp mesh is. And so when you use your white selection tool, you'll see that there are little distort grids like you would normally see right up in here. With a little bit of time and a little bit of manipulation you can get this to really start to look like it sits there on that page and we're not talking like a whole lot of time either this is this is what a couple seconds and we're already starting to get some some nice clean movements of that so if you have a whole body of text that you need to make it look like it sits there on this page you can pre lay out the page however which way you see fit and then just start to add it in as you need it And now I'm just going to hold down my Shift and Alt with my regular selection tool as I move. So I duplicate this. And just as easily as I did the first one, I can just bring it around to manipulate where I need it to go. So, now you might be wondering what, how do I need to, what do I need to do if I need, or need to change this or make it into an object? Because right now the warp, it, it's sort of dependent on a few things. It, it doesn't like to 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 be played with uh, outside of there. If I have pre-existing text, I can leave it as an editable text and then and then just change it as I need to. Um, but if you need to, just take this guy, when you're all done, go to Object, Expand. And then that page is set up for just on that work. Take these guys. I'm going to just make the stroke a little bit bigger. Round out the corners. Weld out those lines, and we're gonna go Control C, Control V, Shift Control Eight, Shift Control Alt Eight, uh, so we can break everything down together. Copied the two layers of the, the, the line work and that. And I'm just going to do minus front. And that gives me some nice editable lines. Alright, so for this, I think we need to go to a gray, to a white, right about there, and then back to. A little bit of gray. Alright. Now mind you, I double clicked to get into this group area here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. Yeah, something like that. And we take our little gradient tool, find a nice little angle. Makes you 
these two parts are gonna be darker so we're gonna make this guy uh, uh, say about that dark right about there I'm gonna do this guy this white and then the edge of the book the binding let's just make that oh let's just go go red There we go. So, very simple process. Not only have I made it so I now have a layer of colored uh, separate little elements, I have some line work, and then we have a whole background color in case I need that one behind this, which, going back on it, we can delete that one. So, I have a whole background area there in case I need to go simplistic. I've got warped text. I have. I, we've gone over warping of text. We've gone over converting of text. We've gone over drawing. We've gone over how to uh, basically make a line work into a colored element really fast, and all in the span of a couple minutes. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, if you notice I've just used only two layers, um, take this idea, run with it. I want to see what you guys come up with. If you guys come up with something fun, I'd love to see the 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 text that you put on top of a book, and let's make it work. All right, you guys have a fantastic night.